Hi, my name is Yulia. I am a former Fulbright Fellow from Ukraine and this is my YouTube channel where I interview Fulbrighters from all over the world. We talk about studying abroad, cultural exchange and, of course, the scholarship that made it all possible. Uh, today I am not interviewing anyone. Today I decided to tell my story because I don't know how many of you guys actually know anything about me. Uh, so. Uh, I'm originally from Ukraine. Uh, I came to study at Western Michigan University in 2015 uh, on Fulbright scholarship. I was doing uh, here my master's degree in mechanical engineering. Uh, this was th that was actually my second time when I applied for Fulbright. I applied before for the year of 2013, and I was alternate candidate, and I didn't get it. So I took all the documents that I prepared for Fulbright, uh, all those like motivation letters, all those essays, uh, TOEFL test, uh, GRE, and submitted for another program at my home university in Ukraine to go to study in Great Britain. And I got it. So from 2013 to 2014 fall, I was studying at Glinder University uh, in North Wales. And while I was there, I decided, hmm, you know, let's try luck again. Let's apply for Fulbright again. And uh, that was a very interesting case because I was applying for my third master's. So for me, that was like sort of adventure, like whatever, let's do it. I applied and I was sure that there is very low chance that I will be selected because this is my third master's degree. Who will be paying for the third master's degree? But on the day when I submitted my master's thesis in Great Britain, uh, and I was thinking that, okay, this is the last day of studies in my life, I received an email from Fulbright Ukraine the, saying that they invite me for interview. So I was actually even debating at that stage, like, should I go or not? And again, just like, okay, well, whatever, let's do it. I flew to Ukraine, I went through the interview and I got selected as alternate candidate again. Uh, that was very frustrating for me because at that stage I already had two master's degrees, I could be looking for jobs or any other opportunities, but I was like in such like hanging situation for half a year waiting for a yes or no from Fulbright. And in June 2015, they told me like, no, unfortunately, you're not going to study in the United States this time either, but you can apply again. And while they were select, sell, selling me, uh, sell, sending me um, the links how I can apply after the deadline, uh, it was very, very slow. And then they stopped replying to me. And then I received a call like, hey, we can send you to Western Michigan University. This is only one offer that we can give you. You accepted or you're staying at home. So sure, I accepted it. I was freaking happy about that. At the same time, there was a lot of uncertainties about like, okay, what I'm going, what I'm, where I'm going, what I'm going to do there, like how, like where I'm gonna leave. And yeah, anyways. So that's how I became a Fulbrighter. And uh, that's where probably the most life-changing experience started. I came to the United States and I met my now husband. Uh, so we, st we started dating like after like half a year knowing each other and uh, He's also a Fulbrighter. He is 100% Nicaraguan. He's Fulbrighter from Nicaragua, but he was born in Ukraine while his parents were doing their PhD in Soviet Union at Taras Shevchenko University. I guess that was kind of the story that bonded us. And uh, we got married in the end of my program. 
and uh, my husband stayed uh, here at the same university at Western to do his PhD. So last fall in 2017, I went home to reapply for J2 dependent visa and came back uh, to the United States and uh, applied for work permission, applied for a bunch of jobs. I got a job recently, just a few months ago. And now I work as a design engineer at a, an automation company. So, and I think that once I stopped being a Fulbrighter, I felt like there is like a, a piece that is missing inside, inside of me. And uh, I, I, I mean, I was still a part of Fulbright community and here at Western we have more than 40 Fulbrighters and we all hang out together, we I don't know, get together to make food, have drinks and have those amazing debates about everything in this world and exchanging our experiences. So it's very, very interesting, diverse, multicultural, amazing community of the best uh, students from all over the world, from uh, Ukraine, Nicaragua, Indonesia, Iraq, Kosovo, uh, Jamaica, um, Haiti, uh, where else, and uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, uh, Lesotho, Bangladesh, uh, you name it. There, I think there are like about 20 countries represented here. And I was really passionate about being a Fulbrighter and p presenting Fulbright uh, student organization on campus at the international festivals and I was a board member at students at Fulbright student organization and I really wanted to share this experience and this amazing these amazing talks to with, with more people uh, that's how I came up with the idea of YouTube channel. So far, it's just interviews with the Fulbrighters about their applications, about their studies, about their future plans. But I hope that I will uh, improve my um, filming skills and uh, at some point I will do something more entertaining, showing more of our life. Yeah, so this, this is a little story about me and about this channel. I hope that you enjoy this channel as well as my blog and my Instagram blog where you can find tips about Fulbright and uh, first about applying for Fulbright and about being a Fulbrighter in the United States. Uh, and if you have any questions or any topics that, that you want me to cover, I will do my best to answer those questions and uh, make either a video or post about that. I'm planning to interview more Fulbrighters from other cities, other universities, those that went back home and uh, I can interview them by Skype uh, as well. And please support this channel and subscribe to it, like the videos, comment the videos, so I will know that you are actually interested in uh, me continuing this. And for all those that are already with me, thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, your time, your comments, your questions, and uh, that you, you enjoy what I'm doing.